All right, I am just coming in from painting and I have a whole bunch of really dirty brushes now. So I'm gonna walk through my brush cleaning process with you guys. So let's start with one that is just not too dirty. I just use it, the paint is still fresh and I just need to clean my brush. I'm gonna run my brush under water and I'm gonna work the bristles until my water runs clean. I find this is a little bit easier with darker colors. Uh, whites tend to be a little bit harder to rinse, but what isn't harder with whites? So I'm just working the bristles, running it under the water. I can feel already in the brush that a lot of the paint has come out. It's got a couple stubborn spots right along the sides, but already you can tell that this is rinsing pretty clean. I'm going to take my scrubby soap. Scrubby is a uh, glycerin soap that has a scrubby infused in the soap. So it goes all the way through and I'm gonna add a little bit of my soap to my bristles. Just a little bit of soap and then I'm gonna go ahead and run this back under the water and I'm gonna work some of this soap in. I will use this, which is a makeup cleaning sponge or mitt and I'll just kind of comb, work that soap in a little bit and then I'll comb it out on the scrubby part of the sponge of the mitt. So you can see I had a little bit of color left in that brush, but overall not a whole lot. So that's probably good and then I can come work that out. Now one thing I do try to do is I like to try to keep too much paint from gathering on the handle of my brush. So while it's fresh I just take the most fresh portion off. I still get some build up but it doesn't end up being super thick. All right, and I'm gonna make sure I rinse all that soap out of my brush. I'm gonna squeeze the bristles out. And then I'm gonna hang this from the hook to dry. This is my brush cleaning station, and I will just hang that and it will dry. Now let's talk about one that's got, this has paint crusted in it. This one is gonna be a much harder brush to clean. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna get out as much as I possibly can by running it under water. But I can tell already that this is not gonna come clean just with the running it under water like this. But I still wanna to try to get as much out. Now this is a five in one tool, which is a, a tool from the paint department at the hardware store. And I'm gonna comb out as much as I can. and I'm gonna end up with some of this paint that's just stuck in my bristles. So what I'm gonna do for this brush is I'm gonna let it have a deep cleaning. So I'm gonna take the Dixie Belle Clean as a Whistle paintbrush cleaner. I am gonna shake it because it does tend to separate in the container just a little bit. And I'm gonna pour some just into a dish. Now I will reuse this cleaner over and over and over again. So even though it looks like that was a lot of my container, once I've cleaned this, even if, or once I've cleaned this brush, even if it gets dirty or cloudy or anything, I will put it right back in this container and keep reusing the same cleaner. And I'm just gonna let my bristles soak in here. And I just wanna let them soak up into the dirty part. I don't wanna be soaking the metal part of my brush because that can loosen the glue that holds the bristles in. I really just want the dirty part of my bristles to be in that cleaner. So I'm gonna let this soak for about 24 hours and we'll come back and I'm gonna clean this brush. All right, we are 24 hours later and my brushes have been soaking in this dish. Uh, one note, if you are using a plastic dish, make sure it's not too thin um, or the oils can go through certain plastics. So not like a solo cup, you want something a little bit thicker than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze my brush cleaner out of my brush because this is reusable. So this is one and it's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the second one, squeezing out the brush cleaner. And from here, I'm gonna take this and I can pour it right back into my container. I'm gonna go ahead and use a funnel. And this is completely reusable. <laughs> All right, it is biodegradable, so I can go ahead and rinse it down my sink, and I'll save that and put that in a second container. All right, so this is what one of my brushes looks like. It still has paint in here, only it's significantly loosened the paint from the bristles. So I'm gonna wash out what I can.
and quite a bit of it can just be removed with my hand. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple of options for getting this paint out. So one suggestion that's made is sometimes a lice comb. So this is a lice comb, only this is probably not my favorite tool to use. It gets some of the larger pieces out, but the spread on that comb is still pretty thick. So it doesn't quite get everything. It would take a lot of combing to get that out. What I actually like to use is a wire brush. And I'm gonna lay my brush down. I'll do it up here so you guys can see. And I'm gonna comb those pieces of paint right out of the bristles. And you can see right away they're loosened. I'm gonna flip my brush over and do the same thing. Okay, that gets rid of them pretty easily. And then I'll spread my bristles out a little bit so that I can get any that are in between. Make sure that I get up close to the metal. Spread the bristles out some different ways. And I'm combing in the direction of the bristles not being too harsh on it. I'm gonna work out those loose bits using my fingers and we'll see what this brush looks like now. Okay, that is a clean brush. Any little bits, I could go back and get these couple little pieces that are still in, right in there. I would just comb them out again with my wire brush. I mean, that is pretty clean. All right, it does leave sort of a conditioner feel on your bristles, and if you don't care for that, you can use a little bit of Dawn dish soap. And so for that, I would just take, I actually like the conditioner in it. It softens your bristles a little bit. And I would just work a little bit of Dawn dish soap. It's sort of an oily feeling, I guess. I kind of like it. I think it softens the bristles nicely. But if you don't care for that, you can work that out. And then I would rinse this brush. Make sure I get all my dish soap out. I'm gonna use my five in one tool. All right, that brush is super clean and soft. And so now I'm going to hang this up on my drying rack and that one is gonna dry with the rest. Let's go ahead and do this other second one that was in there. I'm gonna follow the same process. I'm gonna work out what I can just with my hand. I'm gonna use my wire brush. I've got some paint. You can kind of see here, got some paint in there. Just comes right out. Um, I get these in packs. You can get them in packs of, I don't know, I think 10 or so on Amazon for about $7, $7.99. Have those in my Amazon shop. It's a hardware store item as well. And then this one, I'm not going to do the Dawn dish soap because I like the conditioner feeling of it. I think it lets my bristles very nice and soft. And squeeze out that water. And then I'm going to let it dry bristles down so all the water drains out. If you let it dry this direction, the water is going to drain into where the glue is. And again, it can soften the glue for those bristles. And that will hang up right there. All right, that is the new uh, Clean as a Whistle paintbrush cleaner from Dixie Bell. It's no VOCs, non-toxic, biodegradable, and non-flammable. You can check that out at my, at my affiliate link.